The first Group 1 race of the week is the Lancashire Chase. It's a three mile, one and a half furlong chase. And at the top, we've got Seltzer Omanor, Darren Thompson, the Devastator, Joshua Sullivan, Watchtower, or Graham Clutterbuck, Woodland, Leon Van Rensburg, World Class, David Hooney, Dragons, Clark, Cry, Leon Van Rensburg, Haberley, Darren Thompson, Laver, Palariva, David Robertson, Mallorca Dream, David Hooney, Nightclubber, and Nightly Contract for Craig Beckwith, and The Shepherd for Joshua Sutherland. So 12 runners in this then. It's a Grade 1 event in its own right. Well, it's also a Gold Cup trial, and away we go. And the two Joshua Sutherland horses have come through to dispute the lead as they pass the winning post. They've got two full circuits of this Haydock track. And the Devastator is in the lead. We'll refer to this as a we'll refer to this as a Lancashire track. This is a Lancashire chase. But I'm pretty sure somebody told me the other day it's now technically in Merseyside, but that may not necessarily be right, but I'm sure we can check that up if we need to. But anyway, whatever it is, Devastators in the lead from Dragon's Cry second, and it's the top two in the training ranks disputing the lead. With the Devastator in front, Dragon's Cry. Back in second as they finally get to the first, and the Devastator went right through the top of that and was lucky to stay on his feet. Which has allowed Dragons try to get into the lead, short one to the second, and the Devastator jumps it much better this time. Those two matching strides in three lengths clear of the Shepherd back in third, in Hablin fourth, another one has a tendency to miss a fence out and seeing the jockey flying. Over that one they go, Craig Beckwith's horse, nightly contract, didn't jump it all that well. But he's still associated with the jockey and heading down to the next. The Devastator is leading by two lengths. Uh, Took that one nicely. Oh, we'll go over that one, okay. Those early mistakes I seem to have settled a few of them down as they get into this ditch. And oh, there's a fall there. There's a crashing fall for world class. So one of David Hooley's was gone, David Hughes already had two winners today. Joshua Sutherland, the leading trainer on the Devastator, can outdo him because he's had three. And extended his lead at the top of the Trainers' Championship based on wins. 11, I think it is now, from Dragons trying second. Well, Leon Van Rensburg is second in the Trainers' title. I don't have a winner yet this week. We'll be hoping to turn things around. And this one, or maybe he's saving his best bullets for later in the week as they get over the sixth and all safely over the sixth with the devastator in front dragon's cry second happily back in third as they get to the next which is a ditch all safely over the hands one gone there it's watchtower's gone so it's all over for the watchtower in this race and the devastator's in front into the eighth Nicely over it. Phil getting quite well strung out. And the Devastator leading by three to Dragon's Cry second. Haberley is over it in third. And a mistake again there. Quite a Craig Beckwith horse, but this time it was his other one, Nightclubber, that made the mistake. His other one, Nightly Contract, is just a back marker, but plenty close enough still. As they've got a complete circuit of the Haydock track to go. And the Devastator is three lengths. Clear in the lead from Dragon's Cry in second, then Hubbley is third. The Shepherd is four, and then Woodlands is five, and then comes Lavare, Pellerin, and Nightclubber, and Mallorca Dream, Silt, Salomonor, and finally Nightly Contract. As we see them taking this top turn, head out onto the back straight. Pretty compact, got a track width wise. Head back straight, not all that far away from the stand. And the Devastator is two lengths clear of Dragon's Cry in second. Hubbley is third. The Shepherd is fourth. Woodlands is fifth. Nightclub is making good ground on the inside of Lavare Palariva as they take the tenth. Which they all got over okay. Saltzella Manor is now the back marker. But it's the Devastator and Dragon's Cry with this plain one. Over it they go. Mistake there was by Woodlands in the middle of the pack. And that's seen that one drop back to about seventh. But it's the Devastator and Dragon's Cry leading. Two length gap then, back to Hubbley as they get over the next one. Hubbley jumped it slowly. The Shepherd takes over third. 
but it's still the Devastator and Dragon's Cry. Dragon's Cry being pushed up on the outside then there to really seriously challenge as they come down towards the next and he's gone into the lead. Dragon's Cry has taken it up from the Devastator in second. Then the Shepherd is third. Nightclub are running a big race on the inside is four. Then comes Lavare Panarever and Woodlands is after that one. And then Nightly Contract is trying to get into it as well. They get over this ditch. That's the 14th. And not Dragon's Cry looks to be going nicely in the lead. The Devastator has now surrendered second to stable mate the Shepherd. Nightclub are coming between the two of them. Mallorca Dream coming around the outside. Not mentioned that one much so far. Then Lavare Pereira Either. He's after that one, looking to the back. South Salomonor is still the back marker. Hubble is under pressure, but it's Nightclubber who's kicked on. Nightclub has gone on then from Mallorca Dream in second, and these two have started to pull away from the Shepherd and Dragon's Cry. Then comes Lavare Penariva and the Devastator. They've still got three to take, and in the lead, it's Nightclubber who's in front. Four to take. This is the fourth last. Over it they go. Nightclub is in front. Mallorca Dream is second. These two have suddenly gone six clear of the rest of them and are starting to pull away still. This is the final ditch of third. And last, it's Nightclub and Mallorca Dream. Moving into third is Lavare Penariva. Then comes the Shepherd and Woodlands Dragons Cry after that one, and Nightclub has kicked on again. And Nightclub has four or five clear now of Mallorca Dream, who seems to be beaten. This is the second last. Nightclub has stood off, and he nearly went. And now Mallorca Dream and the Shepherd can start to close. Nightclub is racing towards this final fence. He's in the lead by three lengths, but he just made a really bad mistake. He jumped that one much better. This time it was the horse in second that nearly went. And it's Nightclub who's four or five clear. Clear. And is this a bit of a shock, or are we not giving Craig Beck with the respect that he deserves? He's had a good start to the season, and this is a live Gold Cup chance now as the nightclub takes it from the fast finish in the Devastator, then the ship of New York, Dream Dragons fly heavily Woodlands after that one. And not only contract was the last one to finish. And despite a couple of mistakes in the race, most notably at the second last, that was a pretty impressive performance from Nightclub. Who's the favourite? So, must be just me. I hadn't noticed what he'd done before then. So, Nightclub is the winner for Craig Beckwith. The Devastator second for Joshua Sutherland. The Shepherd was third for Joshua Sutherland again. Mallorca Dream David Hooley fourth. And Dragon's Cry for Leon van Rinsburg was back in fifth.